I want to welcome you to the Darren Sargent Show. This is the podcast where you get life advice from a single-handed perspective. I am so glad that you joined us today. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we are going to be talking about, well, I, I guess we could call it, teach us to number our days. I may not make a whole lot of sense right now, but if you stick around, hopefully I can make some sense of it right here on the Darren Sargent Show. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get started. I was recently reading Psalm chapter 90, a psalm that I have read often, and I've come down to verse number 12, I think it is, and it says, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. As I was reading this, it kind of hit me. My my days are numbered. Now, I know, I understand, I get it. This is not rocket science, but listen on, if you will. I, I think I think we have something to say today that may help you. I don't think this has been as clear as it is now with the last couple of years that we have had and the lives that have been affected by the pandemic that we've talked about it, and uh, I don't want to run it into the ground, but the last couple of years have been challenging the pandemic that ravaged our world. And it causes me to kind of stop for a few moments and ask myself, ask myself, not myself, ask myself the question, what am I doing with my life? If life is so fragile and life is so fleeting, what are we doing with our lives? How many days have we been alive and what have we done? So now, I know this may sound a little bit weird, but I thought it would be interesting. I found a countdown clock online. I t- typed in my birth date and discovered that I've been on this planet as of today, 19,485 days. Now you know how old I am. You can go look it up. But it made me realize a couple of things immediately. Number one, life is moving very quickly. I don't know about you, but... Our lives and the Sargent family is is moving quite rapidly. Got a daughter getting married here in just a few weeks, and life is moving quickly. I'm I'm recognizing how fast my life has moved, and looking back and wondering how many years, how quickly, how many years have passed in our lives and in lives of our family. So life has moved very quickly. And the second thing I realize is I need to make sure what I'm doing with my life matters. I think it's safe to say if you're listening to this, all of us have a desire to make a difference, make an impact with our lives. I think all of us want to do something that just is beyond taking up space on this planet. Now, each year I take time in the last week or so of the year to focus on where I have been, where I'm going. It's been a practice of mine for many years. I've probably discussed it on this podcast, but and I look forward to it each year. I just take and block out on my calendar, I block out a little bit of time, a day or two, and I just I focus in on, okay, this year, what have I done? What's coming up in the next year? And when I look about with everything, when I look around and everything that's going on with our world and politics and and the headlines and pandemics, and uh, I look at it and I think, you know what? I, I think this probably this attitude, this approach to where we are in our lives and where we're going is probably more important now than it's ever been. Now, I'm not trying to, you know, write some thesis on this. Uh, but I do have a few thoughts that have crossed my mind as I begin to kind of think toward, you know, we're getting, we're getting into the end of summer as I record this and, and life is, is coming quickly at us. And if, if I am to number my days, according to scripture, I need to make sure I am making every moment count. So I'm going to share with you some things that I've come up with. And as you listen to them, maybe you could write them down if you you want or just keep listening to it. Get it in your brain. Get it in your heart. The first thing that comes to my mind when I look at this scripture, so teach us to number our days. The first thing that comes to my mind 
is right there in that verse. I think it's verse 12 of Psalm 90. It says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. So the first thing I need to do is I need to be seeking for wisdom while I am yet alive. The urgency of this vapor called a life has caused me once again to make sure I'm focusing on gaining wisdom above everything else in my life. The second thing is I want to value my relationships that God has placed in my life. The reason that maybe you're listening to this is we're connected in some way, or if you just came across my podcast, welcome. But I value you. I value my friendships. I'm thankful for many of you that continually connect, and and we have some sort of friendships. Friendships are valuable. Friendships and acquaintances and connections and people that we allow to cross through our path of life are, are valuable. Now, when you're thinking about friendship, there is no way to put a price tag on relationships that matter. There's no way. I never want to become an island unto myself. I want to make sure that I am valuing those relationships. Another thing that I I wrote down is now more than ever, I want to invest my life daily in the eternal. I want to invest my life daily in those things that outlive me. I've said this on this podcast. I've told my children since they were big enough to understand, make sure to invest your life in those things that will outlive you. Nothing is more important than giving ourselves completely to the things of God. Nothing. Now, I know you know this. You're you're probably actively doing that. I'm just wanting to remind us only what we do for Christ will last. The fourth thing that, that I've written down that I think is very important when we are to count our days is we need to have a vision for our life. It's critical. Have a vision for your life. The Bible tells us that without a vision, people perish. If there is ever a time I need to make sure I'm following after the vision that God has for my life, my family, the people that I'm involved with in in, in leading and guiding, it's now vision keeps you focused it puts a target out in front of you that you have to constantly be aiming at to hit. And without that vision, I think we become lost. And it hinders forward momentum. Finally, I must recognize the value of this one life we have been given to live. I've already mentioned it, but you can tell I'm big on the value of our lives. When I understand my value, I understand my purpose. Every one of us have unique callings. We have unique giftings on our lives. And for us to fulfill what God has asked of us, we must understand why we were created and the value that God has placed on our lives to fulfill what he has created us to fulfill. I don't want to just go through life and not make the impact that God called me to make. So... I need to be seeking for wisdom while I'm alive. I want to value my relationships that God has placed in my life. I want to invest my life daily in the eternal. I want to have a vision for my life because it's critical. And I want to recognize the value of this one life that I have been given to live. So today, no matter what you're doing, no matter what you're faced with, no matter what challenges may be in your life, stop, take a moment, number your days figure out what god has in store for you and make the difference that you were called to make i appreciate you tuning in right here on the darren Sargent show go to darrensargent.com you can find some more information about some of the things going on and as always make sure to like rate review subscribe share tell other people about this podcast hopefully it's a blessing to you Thanks for tuning in. Have an incredible day.